Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm El Capitan. I think it's fair to say today, which is very near Christmas, and yes. therefore I'm quite Christmassy, yeah, is we, we've got some guitars here and they're not very subtle in shape or tone. No. They're unforgiving. They are essentially, this is when Gibson got badass, basically. They invented crazy shapes. They thought, Les Paul's SGs, they're just for pussies. Let's just get in here and make some shapes that look more home at a Star Wars Klingon Captain Kirk versus. <laughs> Did you just sorry? Can I just can I just stop you? I meant there? Star Trek. Did you say Star no, Wars? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I meant Star. I said Star Trek. I said Star Trek. It's a Jedi mind. That's trip. almost as I bad as Star when Trek. my wife said to me, oh, "What's that singer from Zeppelin called? Rob Summit." I'm like, oh, you just give me reasons. <laughs> find the new Gibson Flying V in all its beautiful colours. Look at it glistening, so soft and dew-like, as if a fresh winter near Christmas day had just dawned. Mmm, those frets, so lustrous. These aren't just Gibson Explorers and Vs. These are, no, that's not even the right thing to say, is it? These aren't just any old Vs and Explorers. These are Gibson V's and Explorers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we got here is two guitars, a V and an Explorer from Gibson, and these are the more traditional, standard, no bells and whistles, this is a V and that's an Explorer, yeah. and they're great. So, so I'm excited, because 2016 has seen the re-release of um, the Explorer and the V, and the Firebird actually, which we don't have in this video, but the, the, the Explorer and the V within the standard lineup, which means it's not gonna be made kind of just every so often as part of a spot run. It's just available all year round for a very fair price, I should say, which is coming soon. Feel as your hand dips into your pocket, firmly grasping your wallet. It takes it out and slowly pulls it apart, unfolding the uh, wallet to find your cards. Mm. Swiftly you withdraw the card and insert it hard into the machine, paying with all of your might as you want that Gibson hard in your hand. In case I hadn't mentioned it before, a traditional V or Explorer in the UK will cost you £999 including VAT, whereas a high performance V or Explorer will cost you the princely sum of £1,199, including value-added tax. Mm. As is with all of the 2016 USA range, the guitars can be purchased in a traditional format, which is what <coughs> Rob and I are playing at the moment, or a high performance format, which is what we shall be playing shortly. Shortly. So, <laughs> um, should we start with this one then? Do it for me. Okay. Hit me, flat. baby, one more time. <laughs> flat top, beautiful glossy black looking beast. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is made of mahogany as a guess. It is, it is made of mahogany. I'm gonna say the next made of mahogany is a guess. It is made of mahogany. I guessed that. Uh, and there are other colours, or another colour which Rory will put on the screen. Now. Yes. So, tone, volume, volume. Nice. These two volumes do a pulley thing to Ooh. give you a tap or a split, I don't know. Don't really care. Not sure, usually a tap I think on Gibson yes. stuff, so. We'll give you tones in a second. It's got jingle bells. Ooh. 
Uh, little jingle bells, actually. Lots little of little jingle bells. Um, the option to wrap it around if you want to do the whole Zeppelin thing. Um, stop tail. It's not a lockable, downable one, but still, stop tail. What pups are these, bro? So, these are a uh, 496R and oh, a 500T, which are hot ceramic pickups. Yes. Uh, in fact, in the spec, this one even says it's super hot. Can we say they're incredibly bright? They're very bright. So, so bright yep. that I've actually taken the treble down to about yep. one and a half. It sounds kind of harsher on the Marshall than it does on the Fender, but I noticed that as well. It's, it's. Um, they're very bright. They're very bright, and I kind of think that one of the, I suspect that we'll see some players buying these and thinking, oh, I might just swap these pickups out for something, you know, a little bit or more creamy. Or over. No, I wouldn't do that. No. Well, well I, I would, because then you get that slightly brighter in the, in the neck yeah, bit, and maybe. you get that warmer. You can certainly experiment you, you, with you that. You do what you want to do um, with your guitar. That's the whole beauty of guitars and things. Moving on to the neck, interesting texture on the back. It's the matte, you can't see because obviously it's black, and it's practically frictionless. Um, but yeah, it's that kind of matte black feeling. Would you, how would you describe that as? It is a satin. Satin. Uh, which I think black. is, it's only the top that's lacquered on the V. Yeah, it? everything else the is that kind of satin. satin. Uh, black job. It's got the uh, beautiful binding on the body Love and the that. neck. When we first opened aged. the case, the binding is what leapt out at me first, and I just went, "Oh, it that's went, binding! Um, binding!" It's got the uh, stab your friend headstock. Graph tech nut. Oh, it's a graph tech, is yep. it? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Can't you yes. Listen to it. Listen to it. Let's see. Oh, graph tech. It is graph tech. You're right. It's uh, told me it's graph tech. Standard Gibson Deluxe tuners. And Blues it's made in the USA. Ones. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a Gibson V made in the USA, and it sounds really, really let's dangerous. Have some, let's have some tonal run-throughs. Marshall JCM 800. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something really inappropriate then, but I didn't say it. No, I wouldn't even know what you were I'm proud of me for, for knowing well that done. I didn't say it. Take it back. Yes, Suck it in. That's right. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz, as it's a V, and you're doing the rolled off tone, can we get a bit of that sort of American woman kind of that? Tone, it sounded great. Because it sounded great when you rolled off the tone. Yeah. But let me give you all, all of that volume. Let me give you a G chord. Take back, but the the those slightly sh sort of uh, sharper sounding pickups. Oh, you'll be heard at a gig. But all the the, the power chords you're playing down here sound it's really tight and cool. Yes. And, and actually, it was only really the the very top sort of fretwork that I thought it sounded a bit piercing and it sounded better with the tone rolled back. Let's bit, do the same thing now, but with the neck pickup as a that. comparison of the tone of the okay. previous pickup we just used. Here's all the volume all the time.
that also right. works. But there's one Sounds more thing that you can great. do with Sounds this. Great. You can put it in the middle, have both. Here's a little bit of volume on both. <laughs> comes with the hand tune function. whatever. It's a shame it wouldn't stay in tune, but then it has come out the back of a car. It would. So these are absolutely brand new. It would stay in tune if we just played them it in would, a bit It would, if it was played in a bit and you know stretched and all that kind so, of stuff. Should we whiz over to mine? I whiz mean, to you. Tonally speaking, uh, the Explorer and the V have exactly the same pickups in it and are built of the same woods. Uh, and so really you're just talking about the big differences between these two being the sort of aesthetic and the sort of feel to play. So what Look, I've that always- was, That was the heart of the tree just there. It was, wasn't it? What I've always rather liked about the Explorer is what a finely sort of balanced instrument this is. So yeah, if you mine, mine does that as well. No, I'm sure, but you know, it's it's one of those. I know it's not going to quite stay up on my knee, but it, it, it's it really is perfectly. There you go. Look. So it's not neck heavy. It's not bass. It's not sort of back heavy. Uh, it's just a nice guitar to play whether you're standing up or sitting down. So tonally speaking, I've got. Uh, two volumes and a tone. I don't have the uh, taps or, or on this guitar, so you're only hearing humbuckers. And, oh, it's in that clip. It's so pokey. To give you an idea, the settings. It's like on, hokey, cokey, the, pokey. The settings on my amplifier are the same as we've done a PRS demo and a Yamaha demo earlier today, and this they Gibson, are nothing in comparison this Gibson to Bridge force. pickup has uh, clipped it for the first time. I'm just going to literally play a little softer on this. So. So those are the clean tones. Now, of course, I don't suppose anybody's going to buy an Explorer to play no. jazz on. So I'm going to just dump in my uh, distortion pedal and you can hear sounds like a lack of this. It's just thick and meaty, and it is bitey, but it's bitey and, you know... Like a Christmas pork pie. In a good way. Bitey and a sort of a... Ah! <laughs> Again, you've got that slightly shorter scale length on a, on a Gibson guitar. Just means everything feels that just smidgen easier to bend, yeah. uh, or you can load up with some slightly heavier strings. Put some 11s know. on it, shoot yeah, it down you a semi do You could do that. What else have we got? 
looking guitar again let me give you a look at the back here so you've got the six aside mini grovers now on here which are the sort of slightly smaller grover machine heads uh, than the, the regular ones uh, big lump of mahogany here uh, button on the back right in the middle of the neck and interestingly the reason I'm showing you that is because it's in a different place on the high performance one a um, couple of different colors which I'm sure will appear on screen now rosewood board it's just you know it's just it's one of those guitars that it's it's a visual statement isn't it it just goes look yeah. at me it's a, it's a great great shape it's a great shape and and in a classic color as well that lets the sort of the mahogany grain show through i think it's a real real beauty uh, so if any of you out there are thinking to themselves oh i fancy one of those v's or one of those explorers well, i wish i didn't have to tune it a well no a traditional spec one which is you know this one or this one uh, that comes with a gig bag like this which is the only downside God, from my this. point of view is that it comes with a gig bag and not a case. Yeah, and we'll come on to that because I, again, <clears> I, I'm we're going to put a little appeal out to Gibson here, like a, like a you know to see if they'll like a Blue Peter appeal. Yeah, like a Blue Peter appeal, a lot like that. So if you could vote. Um, so anyway, on the traditional spec one, you get a gig bag. Now, let's just carry on with the appeal now because we're going to move over to the high performance guitars. So let's unplug. And whilst we talk about going over to the high performance yes, models. Yes, we'll do that. Uh, one of the things, you notice that I'm going to play the V now and Rob's going to play the Explorer just so you can get some tones. So, the first thing you'll notice when you get a high performance model out of the box is that it comes in a case. This is case. the case for the V and the Explorer has a, just a rectangular case. Now, I don't mind that. I don't mind the fact that you get the case with the slightly more expensive guitar and the gig bag with the cheaper one, but what I would love Gibson to do, so this is our imploring appeal, is unfortunately the one thing that's really annoying is that the V and the Explorer hard cases are not for sale separately. So you can't just think, well, I like the traditional one, then I'll buy a case. Uh, so you, at the moment you have to buy like a third part, if you want a hard case for your, your V or your Explorer you traditional, get a gator or something, you've got it? to buy like a Gator Extreme case or something like that, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. But so Gibson, you know, just, I think what you should do Gibson is stick the cases in the catalog and let people buy those as well. But anyway, that's up to them. They may or may not choose to, to do what we, to we, we are. So let's talk about um, what makes a high performance Explorer different to the traditional one? Well, the one. first thing you're going to notice really visually is the nut straight off out yep. of the boot. This is made from titanium now, isn't it? Titanium. Titanium. No, what's That's the song? It's a song. I can't remember. No, that. was it Rihanna? Did she do I want to fall from the titanium nut. That was it, yeah. It wasn't Rihanna titanium at all, was it? Good and, knowledge um, of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Current pop music. Thank you, Lee. I'm glad that you, you recognise that. Yes. Um, well, the, also, uh, and I really like this, is that the knobs have the really good sticky uh, bit that mean that you can just go, oh, whoop, this, whoop, this, whoop, this, whoop. What do they call these? Like speed knobs or something, whoop, this, don't whoop, they? Just like, so yeah. you've got a little knurl bit. They're speedy. You? And yeah. I'll tell you what, when you're on the road, live, covered in sweat, yeah. minge throwing itself at you, the first thing you don't want is a slippery knob. What you do need is one that just grips your finger perfectly. Can I say, just to save me repeating all this again, whatever Rob says about what he's got extra on his guitar, so have I on mine. Uh, and if I find anything that is extra on this one, I'll tell you, but I'm not gonna go through it all again. Extra, extra, Gibson, make guitars. And on the back, you've got the awesome, awesome, awesome G-Force. G-Force. Now, what you didn't see <laughs> off camera G -force. was that. Was, <laughs> I used to watch that. That was great. That was such a great, why didn't we ever do that before in a previous video? They were amazing. <laughs> hey, Tiny! <laughs> what was his name? You know what's really <laughs> freaky though is my whole experience of that was watching it in Dutch. Right. I grew up in I'm sure we have done this before. So when I was but a It was like kid, cartoons where you got a Japanese face for about 10 seconds and just the background moved really Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was it. Split screen. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, but so my whole time I was watching that, it was in Dutch for me, but English for you. Wow. I was a little foreign kid. What was the thick big? How did that get translated into Dutch? It was. Graag, meneer. Anyway, Snoopy's alsjeblieft. So GeForce, which to be honest with you, is one of those features that uh, everybody hated at the beginning. It's great. And now it everybody's, totally sorts you out. everybody's kind of going, actually, I quite like the idea. I just press right. a button and my guitar. There's no battery in mine, though. Yeah, there is. Well, I uh, there is in my one. Yeah, not in mine. You got the deluxe one. Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry, That's dude. fine. It's all right. I got Do you want hands. this battery? Here, look. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. You can just do it by hand no, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, have the battery. Oh. Don't eat the battery. Out of the box. Notice that these pickups sound different. Well, the only, I mean, they're the same pickups. The, really? the titanium nut should add, you know, maybe a little bit of zingaroo. It's a huge difference, though. Uh, well, it's a different guitar. Well, dramatic you difference. Know, you, you were playing a V before, now, you, now you're playing an Explorer. Yeah. It's, um, a bit, it's a lot warmer, isn't it? It's nice. I just, yeah. I, you can tell I've been spent a whole month in a row playing Explorer shapes. Um, it's a great guitar, man. It's got that easy to play, chewy, beautiful feel to it that you just want from a Gibson. I did mean to say, the Explorer on both models is completely uh, gloss finished, so back of the neck, back of the body, everything. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So when we were talking about the um, satin finish ones, oh, so I'm being a- Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's the first time I've ever looked over and seen you with a V. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, it looks sick, so inappropriate. Mate. It looks um, totally awesome. Of course, don't forget the high performance necks are marginally wider than the, uh, than the traditional maybe, maybe that's what just made the difference the tone probably the actually bit wood yeah, I don't know about the tone difference but it's it might wood. feel easier to play for you um, it's like seeing a monkey that's just picked up uh, a paintbrush what, for and the first about, time ever about paint something Picasso and you just kind of think oh it's really weird and really fascinating and I want to, I want to see it show them the heel joint because the heel joint and the strap button Whoop. position is different yeah I, that's one of the things I noticed about the V was that the strap button placement was different which is a bit weird so it's like they've got high performance the, the strap kind of, button placement see the heel joint if we, if we show you the uh, Traditional Explorer. So the heel joint on the traditional Explorer has that traditional it's just the kind way of ridge, if was. you like. But this That's is like super, away. super shiny and smooth and lovely. And it does mean that you can like absolutely get to the shiny. <laughs> So the V is not a far, the V is only about an inch away from it normally would, where it normally would be. Yeah. So it's kind of out the way a bit, which is kind of cool. The Explorer is in a, like a completely different position, isn't it? Almost well, where like a strap button would be. That's where I would put mine on, on this kind of a show. Strat, I mean, not I just, strat. I thought that was really interesting that the yeah. high performance version had a different strap button position. Why would, why um, would you do that? So look, I think we're just going to jam out now. You kind of, you, you, you get the general idea that, you, you know, throughout this 2016 range, Rob and I pretty much loved everything that we've played so far. Um, and you've just got to make the choice yourself as to, you know, do you like the features on the high performance or the traditional spec? Um, I a couple of other bits that we probably haven't covered. Again, the high performance ones have the uh, mother of pearl inlays, the, the traditionals have acrylic inlays. The high performance has a sort of an upgraded, chunkier switch in it. Uh, but, you know, they're, 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 they're still both, you know, they're still both the, the essential essence of a V or an Explorer. One's yes. just got some modern, bits and bobs on it and the other one hasn't, you know, yeah. so, but I, I think we should just jam out. All right, all right, all right, I'm on it. <laughs> 